I am obsessed with creating gradient spheres in After Effects. Well, this one is pretty simple. Let's add some shapes, distort them a little bit, add the CC sphere effect, and that's pretty much all. With some edit twists, let's get into it. Alright, so for the first step, I've created a new composition called One Blue, and then I've created a rectangular shape as big as the composition size. By the way, the composition is 1000 by 1000 pixels, and the color it's this one, you can copy if you want it. Now for the second composition, I've created a random shape with the pen tool. Then for the fill, I have used a linear gradient. I will put on the screen the hex codes so you can just copy paste them. Then for the effects, I have added an inner glow effect. You can add it by right clicking on the layer, then layer styles, then inner glow. With the size of 20 and for the color, this orange color and if I enable it you can see before and after. Now the next effect is basically the essence of the project because we're going to use it in every step. Yep, you guessed it, it's the wave warp effect. Now I will show you the properties I have changed and the values but you can play around and choose other values because you will see that you can get some really cool results. Now if I enable the wave warp effect, let's click on it, enable it and you can see what I've accomplished here. For the properties, I have used a circle type, 570 for the height, uh, 4 for the wave width, and for the direction, 142 degrees. And you can see here, it's also animated. We have these really cool stripes. In this composition, I have another layer. Let's enable this one as well. And you can already see what's happening here. I have a fast box blur effect with a blur radius of 10 and also a mask on one part of the shape because I want the effect to take place only on the left part of the shape. Also make sure you have the feather to 500 because I want a smooth transition between blurred and clear stripes. For this third composition I have again a random shape, pretty similar with the last one. For the fill I have used again a linear gradient. I will put here the hex codes again. Then I've added the inner glow layer style again. You can see before and after. The same color and the same size of 20. Then for the effects, let's enable again the wave warp effect. And this time for the type, I have used semicircle and 570 for the height and 4 for the width. For the direction again, 142. Then I have again this layer here, let's enable it. And we have the fast box blur effect again, blur radius 10. And for the mask, again just create a mask on one part of the shape. And then for the feather 500 pixels again. Alright, for this fourth composition I have this random shape which is probably just a duplicate from the last one. For the fill, I have linear gradient. I think it's the same color. Then for the inner glow, let's enable this one. This time I have used this pink tint and also 20 pixels for the size. Then for the wave warp, you can see now that we have a totally different effect just by changing some properties. On this one, the type it's the sine wave. Then for the height, 251, for the width, 13, and for the direction, 216. Then we have the blur layer here. Let's enable it. And for the blur radius, we have 12 pixels. This time we don't have any masks. Now for this composition, I haven't been so lazy, so I've created two layers, and every layer is a different shape. So for this one, I can check the fill color again, the linear gradient. I will put the hex codes here so you can copy paste them. And let's see, for the inner glow, I have now a blue color. You can copy this one from here and size the same 20 pixels. Then for the wave warp, let's enable this one. We have a circle type, 570 for the height, 3 for the width, direction 142. Then let's go on the next shape. Let's enable this one. 
For this I have the inner glow, the same color but just one pixel size. Then for the wave warp enable it again, uncircle type 570, 3 for the width, but for the direction it's 39 this time. Ok, and the last layer, it's probably the blur again, let's enable it and let's check the blur radius which is 10 again. Alright, and we are on the fifth composition and the last one. And for this one I've been even more productive because I have three layers now instead of one or two. So the first one, for the fill I have used this linear gradient from green and to turquoise and to blue. I'll put again the hex codes. Then let's check the properties for the inner glow, blue color and one pixel size. Then for the wave warp enable it and for the type it's the sine wave then 32 for the height 2 for the width and direction to 70 then let's enable the next one and for this one the inner glow is the same as before and for the wave warp we have type on circle 570 for the height 3 for the width 175 for direction then let's see for the third one enable this one and for the inner glow the same as before let's enable the wave warp effect we have uncircle type again 570 for the height 3 for the width direction to 20 and i think that's all for this and the last layer it's the blur obviously we have just one blur radius this time you can see with or without it's a small difference but it's there all right so we are in the pre-final composition and for this one i have added all five compositions that i've created before now it's time for the actual magic to happen for every composition we've created so far we will add the cc sphere effect switch some properties and the job is pretty much done. Alright, so for the first composition, let's enable the first effect, CC Sphere effect. For the rotation X I have used 145, for the rotation Y 322 and for the Z 51. For the radius to 50, this is basically the size of the sphere, light intensity 50 and ambient 100. Ok, so this was the first one, for the second one let's enable this one let's also enable the cc sphere effect for the rotation x y and z we have an expression this time and i have used time multiplied by 50 and you can see how this is working we have a nice rotation on every axis for the intensity and ambient the same and let's also enable a bit of fast box blur with a radius of 2 then let's go on the third one for this one before i forget the mod is classic color burn let's enable the cc sphere effect for the rotation y and z we have again expression time multiplied by 50 and for the rotation x 208 density is zero here ambient is 100 let's enable again the fast box blur and we have this animation so far let's go on the next one enable this one let's enable the cc sphere effect and this time we have the expression only on the y axis for the x we have 345 and for the z 248 radius to 50 intensity 10 ambient 100 let's enable the fast box blur with a radius of 2 so we have this animation so far now for the last two compositions let's enable the first one i have here the mode set to multiply i also have a track mat but i'll disable it for now and let's enable the cc sphere effect now this time i have again expressions for rotation x y z for the radius this time it's a bit higher than the other one it's 258 and you can see here on the edges of the sphere 
intensity 0, ambient 100 and this time I have a glow effect as well. Threshold about 52, 132 for the radius, intensity 0 0.6 and for the colors I have used A and B colors. For the color A this green and for the color B this blue. Okay and rotation again I have put expression time multiplied by 50 and we have something like this. But as I said before I have a track mat here and I will link this to the mask original and if I check the mask original layer basically I have two circle masks with mod intersect inverted the same for the, the other mask with a feather of 150 and for the other one 300 and the rotation is basically linked to the rotation of this layer so now the effect of this turquoise layer is basically visible only outside the circle so in this part mainly okay and now on the last one let's enable this one as well let's enable the cc sphere effect for the rotation x value plus time multiplied by 50 and then i have linked the rotation y z and the radius to the same properties of the turquoise original composition then for the intensity 0 100 ambient let's enable the glow as well i think the properties are the same as the previous one 132 radius 0 4 for intensity colors the same and on this one i have added a turbulent displace effect because i want to have some uh, some waves something like that and for the amount I have 40, for the size 90 and for the evolution expression again time multiplied by 50. And the last thing I have here it's the rotation itself with the time multiplied by 100 expression. I think that's all for this composition and let's go on the last one. Now for the final composition I've created a black background then I've added the pre-final composition let's enable it. In the next step I added the deep glow effect but this is a paid plugin so if you don't have it just go for the basic glow effect that's already built into After Effects. And here I have a deep glow effect or as I said before just use the, uh, the basic glow effect. And for this one I have radius 180, exposure 0.07, threshold and threshold smooth 100, mod luminance and for the tint I have used this pink color, soft light mod and 55% mix. And I have also used a bit of drop shadow. You can't really see much of a difference but if you want you can add it as well. The same pink color, 25% opacity, distance 84, size 165. Next I have duplicated the pre-final composition. Everything is the same, just the color of the drop shadow it's different with this blue color and for the last layer we have a noise effect noise hls with a noise squared and five percent lightness well that's pretty much all you can find the project files in the description below let me know in the comments if you have some questions see you next time